What's so special about the area of an equilateral triangle? To get to its area, we need to understand a few concepts first. All sides of the equilateral triangle are equal to each other and so are the angles. All sides equal and all angles equal. So if we assume each angle to be x degrees, then 3x would equal 180 degrees as the sum of angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. Each angle will measure 60 degrees. But again, the question is how do we get to the area? Look at this equilateral triangle with sides S. If we drop a perpendicular from a vertex onto its opposite side, it will divide it into two equal parts. This length will be S by 2 and this length as well will be S by 2. This concept holds true even for an isosceles triangle. Here, if we drop a perpendicular to this side, then these two lengths will be equal. Both will equal y by 2. So in a triangle, when we have two equal sides and we drop a perpendicular from the vertex joining the two equal sides to its opposite side, then that opposite side is divided into two equal parts. Now we can move on to the area of an equilateral triangle. Look at this equilateral triangle with sides S. The perpendicular divides the side into two equal parts. Let this height be h. Now look at the figure closely. We need to find the area of this equilateral triangle only in terms of its side. It means we need to find its area in terms of s. How can we do that? Think about it. We know that the area can be written as 1 half base times its height. The base is already in terms of s. Now if we manage to get the height h in terms of s, our life will become a lot easier. Now how can we get h in terms of s? Look at this right triangle for instance. Can we use the Pythagoras theorem to get h in terms of s? Let's see. We can say that s squared is equal to h squared plus s by 2 squared. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Solving this, we get h as root 3 by 2 times s. Now we have h in terms of s. The basic formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times the height. That will be half the base is s and the height is root 3 by 2 times s. Solving this further, we get the area of an equilateral triangle as root 3 by 4 times s squared. That's our formula. To find the area of an equilateral triangle, all we need is the length of one of its sides. We can substitute it here and get the area. Of course, you are not expected to know this derivation. But just in case you forget the area, you will know how to derive it quickly. Also remember that when these two sides are equal, a perpendicular drop to the third side divides it into two equal parts.